let this thing happen. What happened? The Great The Earth. Everything started when the chairman announced to double up the energy production at the conference. Then, the world is in complete chaos. We are once a great race. We achieved so many remarkable things in past. Now, we have no electricity, gas, clean water, and even fresh air. I know you can make a difference. Go. Go back to stop this from happening. Assalamualaikum and a very good day everyone. Energy consumption worldwide is rapidly increasing undeniably. Here in our company, we are struggling with this problem every day despite our limitation on fossil fuel. Based from the report submitted by our research team, the trends of fossil fuel resources worldwide has never been in this critical state as before. So I would like to call upon Ms. Ash, our Head of Energy Advisory Report, to come up with her speech. Please welcome. Samung Newcomen invented gold burning steam engine for mining. James Watt made it practical for other purpose. Now we have the ingredients for the industrial solutions, fossil fuels, and the way to put them into work. Coal miners brought down logging, coal railways make it easier. Rails and steam engine combine to make a railroad. Then Michael Faraday invent an electric motor because Tesla invent alternating currents soon energy starts burning fossil fuels to generate electricity. Meanwhile, Edwin Drake drills the first rock oil well in Pennsylvania and we build the first automobile running with petroleum. Fertilizer and oil tractors expand food productions, feeding more people. In the 70s, there's an oil shop. Everyone's surprised to realize how dependent they are on oil. But then, the oil price fall and everyone is happy again. Now, when the personal computers arrive, globalization sinks over. When the market notices, libraries are getting cheaper. Thus, we will increase our energy demand on fossil fuels. Therefore, fossil fuel will be our ultimate source of energy. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Ash, for her astonishing speech. Ladies and gentlemen, despite many process safety issues related to fossil fuel explorations, such as explosion, leakage, and many more have been recorded, this industry has become the main source of economy to our nation. Apart from that, fossil fuels are stable and produce large amount of energy thanks to its chemical properties. Accidents such as Deepwater Horizon on April 21, 2010, has led to better quality in terms of occupational safety and health among workers by implementation of standard operating procedures on the oil rig and other fossil fuel plants. So, here I would like to announce that we will double up our energy output effectively immediately. What? Get out? The fossil fuel must have been depleted. No, this is not happening. Mr. Sakudin, we need to talk. So, Mr. Jacks, what are you trying to show to us? Mr. Sakudin, I would like to recommend to you about renewable energy. Renewable energy resources is being developed because we are running out of fossil fuel at an exponential rate. The sun is the most abundant source of renewable energy as we can trap the light striking a silicon semiconductor causes electrons to flow, creating electricity. Solar power generating systems take advantage of this property to convert sunlight directly into electrical energy. The advantage are they can be used in remote areas as they can produce electricity directly. Wind turbines use the wind to drive the turbine directly in which the blades are connected to the housing which contains gears to the generators. When the wind blows, the kinetic energy will move the blade, thus converting it into electrical energy. The advantage are there are no pollution or side effect produced. Next, the water can be used to drive the turbine directly. Wave machines use the wave kinetic energy to drive the turbine which then moving the turbines to generate electricity. 
Hydrolytic stations or dams are built across the river valley. The water high up the dam contains higher gravitational potential energy which are then transferred into kinetic energy as the water rushes flow down into tubes inside the dam. There are many more renewable energy that are waiting to be discovered such as biomass, geothermal and many more. This will give us more energy that we need and can decrease our demand on fossil fuels. Well, I'm not sure about this Mr. Jabs. Mr. Safedin, from my opinion, Mr. Jabs got his point. Maybe this is the solution that we've been searching for all this time. Well, how can you supply the energy to the consumer by using sun? Sun? Here, I would like to stress about harnessing solar energy to produce electricity since it is the most abundant type of energy in the world. Mr. Saifuddin, please, I've seen how the world will be if we keep depend on the fossil fuel. Before it is too late, this is the time that we must change. Hmm, I'm sorry. Give me some time to complete go through about this better. Assalamualaikum and very good day everyone. Energy consumption worldwide is rapidly increasing undeniably. So ladies and gentlemen, we are at the junction between two roads. One day, the fossil fuel will soon be out from our option. So from today, we must start using alternative energy as our source of energy for daily usage. In terms of process safety, this alternative poses less threat to the human and the workers. So this field promises bright future not just for the economy but to our survivability as well. I would like to thanks to my fellow researchers for making us realize that fossil fuels will not be here for us forever. So I would like to announce that from now on we will initiate renewable energy protocol.